it is time to have a look at the Dyson DC-14 experiment. Can a Dyson DC-14 survive living outside for four whole months? Well, let's start to have a look at it. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner charmers. How are you today? We start off today in the garden because there's going to be some water involved. It did rain last night. This thing has been snowed on, it's been frozen, it's had a month of monsoon, it's had lovely sunny days like today. And yeah, it's, it's doing all right. Look, I mean, you know, it's, it's a bit wet here and there. We look underneath the filter hasn't changed at all there's no mold I would say that in there hasn't got wet at all in fact there's still some dust coming off of there what else have we got well let's remove the cable Table seems absolutely fine. We look at the plug. Look, the plug is perfectly okay. There's nothing wrong with that at all. No mold, no rust. I think. Let's have a look at the wand and we should remove the hose. I also don't know anything living in here. I don't think there is. Now that's all wet up there. So this would need a good dry, but that's okay for now. Take the hose out. Again, it's absolutely fine. No mould. No nothing. Pop those over there, because the real thing that we want to do... Oh dear. That's very brown. <laughs> The motor housing has somewhat filled up with water. What you also can see, look, is how much rain we've had. That is where the rain splashed up against the thing. Absolutely filthy. Oh, if you look underneath. Oh dear, the brush roll is fully solid. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Brush rolls fully solid. There's been something living in there. Look, there's that massive cobweb. That's still the climb, though. But, yeah. So step one in the seeing if it'll ever run again is to let it drain. Now it's here on my box because that's well, if the day perks up a bit, get the full force of the sun which is currently up there and for the whole day. So basically it can stay there, come back down the garden, got the puddle look, but forward from it they can stay somewhere and basically over the next day or two I'm going to put that into all sorts of funny positions and angles get it as dry as we can bring it inside for a couple of days and then when we next meet we should be able to be in the house with it stay tuned well it's been a bit longer since that first part of the video i'm afraid i had my children for the week and um, shut that keep the glare down and yeah this sort of got forgotten about well not fully forgotten about i've kept it dry it's been the shed actually, it's got a lot of sun, a lot of heat and I am very confident now that it is dry 100%. That is the key critical part. Now, we're going to plug it in. Now it is turned on at the machine. Ooh. And if I come out of the way of the camera and plug it in, it runs. That was 
some sort of bearing. Not quite like in life, but blimey, look at the motor roll. I didn't know if the brush roll was turning. Ah. The brush roll is certainly completely seized and I can now smell burning rubber, which is possibly what the slowdown was initially, and then the motor spindle burned through the belt and managed to spin at full speed. So let's see what sort of state the undercrackers are in. Not mine, the cleaners. <sighs> let's see what horrors lurk beneath. Yeah, all oh, that that brush roll is sea solid, it has to be said. <sighs> let's undo. The clips. I don't think there's anything living in here. There is. We're about to find out. Nope. If there's something living in here. There we go. Look, the brush ball's turning now. The belt's just popped off. And that's the damage that we've just done. So, straight away, we need a new belt. The brush ball's turning now, though. Oh! Oh, we got to hear that. Let's put the belt back on because it's not actually ripped through. That'll be fine. And we'll get a new belt. So, first of all, the only thing that we need so far is a new belt. And it would have got one of those anyway because you never refurbish a vacuum cleaner and leave the old belt on unless you know it's history. And if you don't know it's history, that's oh, a base plate, look. There we go. It's a bit happier now. I'm sure it's fun before. I'd imagine that the brush the brush roll bearings were seen completely solid on it. Let's put this back down. as well so I don't know really the brush rolls now running it's obviously not running well but I imagine that the bearings are absolutely trashed but the motor works well and that's astonishing really considering that it's been under water because a lot of water fell out of the housing here so yeah who knows I guess my job now is to take this look there's still the imprint of the shoe on the front of the cycle. So we'll get that out. I shall get this fully apart, give it the normal full refurb, and then in the after video, well, I'll tell you what it needed, show you anything that stood out as being wrong, and yeah, see if it works any better. So can you leave a Dyson outside through the middle of winter for four months it seems for now but yes you can let's get this thing finally shone up get all the mud off of it and i shall see you when it's all done so thank you very much for watching sorry this has taken so long family and work life got in the way a bit i'm going to put this out as soon as possible so it'll turn up on a random non tuesday thursday or saturday day so enjoy and until you see this again, and until my next normal scheduled video, I thank you very much for watching. And I, from the hole in my trousers, will see you soon. Bye bye.